won your game. Congratulations. After you've shook hands with your opponents, it's time to clean the ice. Grab the nearest broom, sweep out around the hacks, next to the rock boxes, make sure you sweep all the accumulated stuff from your game to where it can be picked up with the mop. While you're doing this end, one of your teammates can be down on the other end doing the same thing, cleaning where the rocks sit, cleaning around the hacks and behind the back line. Grab your mop. When you clean between games, make sure you cross over the center line just a little bit. There's not a real big call to sweep all the way out to the edges because the rocks don't go out there anyhow. You make a nice even pass down one side of the sheet. You get down to the end. What I like to have people do is come past the back line, get in where the rocks sit, try and go around where the hacks are, and sweep the entire painted area behind the hack, and come up the other side. When you get to the end of the sheet, Bring your mop all the way through, come behind the hack, give it a good smack. Most of the stuff will fall off it. While you take the mop over to vacuum it off, one of your teammates can be sweeping this, whatever has accumulated here. Again, trying to get as much of it as you can. What you don't get does not go under the backboards. I repeat, what you do not get does not go under the backboards. Wipe it up with your hand. It comes up real easy and it's done. Cleaning the mop is simple. Bring the mop over to the vacuum cleaner. Set it at a 45 right underneath the vacuum cleaner. That way you can reach both ends of the mop without having to do anything special like take the vacuum off the wall. One pass down, one pass up. The mop is clean. Hang it the best you can. Mop hangs with the strings towards the ice, that way they get a chance to dry. If you hang them towards the wall, they sometimes stay damp, and when you put the mop down, it will stick to the ice. Strings to the center of the ice house, you're done. Go in and have your cocktail, good curling. So pebbling between your games or before your games is pretty simple. We're looking for between 90 and 100 degrees, closer to 100 is better. So you'll mix the water. You'll start with a little bit of cold, make sure you have enough water to do at least three sheets, so almost a full can. Top it off with the hot water. Making sure you hang the hoses up and don't let them lay in the sink. Use this little device called an infrared temperature gun. Shoot the water. I have 95 degrees. So we'll pebble with 95 degree water. Pebbling between games is really easy. I like to have the shoulder can way up high on your shoulder. See how the corner of the can fits in the crook of my elbow. That's really comfortable and it's really easy to hold on to. You start right in front of the hack and as you drop the pebble head start swinging. You're going to try and get about 60 swings from end to end and it should take about 40 seconds. Nice fast arm motion. That way you cover the entire sheet with pebble. When you finish pebbling, pebble all the way through the sheet. Don't stop at the back line. Try and pebble all the way through the sheet so the hacks get pebbled as well. And that's all there is to it. Once the sheet's been pebbled,
bevel, it's time to nip. There's an orange piece of tape that marks the center of the nipper. Start with the orange piece of tape. You can start it on the center line and walk at a nice, not running speed, but a nice consistent speed to get a nice even cut on the bevel. When you get to the opposite house, when you make your turn, please do not cut past the back line. Do a little bit of a turn, stay right even with the back of the house, and you want your skid of the nipper to run right along the edge of the blue circle or the red circle, right along the forefoot. You see we're going to be about 6 to 10 inches off the sideline. Please do not cut off to the sideline and you will not be able to cover the entire sheet. This will ensure that the entire playing area of the sheet gets nipped and you'll have a consistent playing surface for your game. You get to the end of your sheet, stop at the back line. You can go all the way to the back if you want, but please do not cut next to the hack because that just makes the pebble that gets abused during the game it will make it go flat faster that's why we don't cut all the way back to the to the hacks we clean off our nipper being careful not to get fingers or toes near the blades because they will cut and I do have the scars to show it sweep up your snow Throw your snow in a bucket. Grab your nipper from inside the handle. Pick the nipper up, grab the handle, take it over to its resting place. Please, 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 when you put the nipper away, put it with the blades facing the wall. And then put your nipper away, put the handle up, and you're done with your game.